Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this Luminar video, we do some basic processing. You've got a photo that looks pretty good right out of the camera. There's just maybe one or two little tweaks you want to make to it. We're going to go through that here in Luminar. If you haven't watched the other videos about the tool overview and so forth, go check those out because we'll be using the tools that are described in that video here. So uh, I've got this photo of a lighthouse and most part it's looking good, right? It's um. Uh, set you know nice midday and some beautiful clouds uh, i do want to see you know pop a little bit more off the screen so let's open up our presets panel and there are a variety of categories and for this type of shot well, it's certainly not street or portrait or dramatic it's nice that they're categorized that way i'm looking at either basic or outdoor let me pop over into outdoor and see what we've got going on here so oh misty land looks like it's adding some kind of a dreamy feel to it um, Colors of the Fall looks pretty nice, as does Bright Day. Let me tap on Bright Day. We'll see what that is looking like for the photo. And it's nice because I can do some, uh, some pretty quick comparisons. That definitely brightened things up a lot. Let's try Colors of the Fall. That's a little bit duller. I do like that, uh, that Bright Day. One more time, I'll maybe try Auto Smart Enhancer. Mm, okay, that made the sky a little bit too blue for my taste. I lost some of my clouds there. I think I'm going to stick with Bright Day. I like the way that that one looked. Now, the last thing I want to do with this is just to tidy up a couple of things. We can see I've got a dust spot there, and there's this orange cone that I'm not particularly a fan of. So we can we're going to open up the eraser tool. And so this gives us our toolbar for doing our retouching. So once the eraser loads, we get this toolbar across the top where we can do all of our various operations. We have erase, which is to remove something. We have unerase, so we can paint something back in. We can draw a polygon around a particular shape if you've got like the edges of a building you need to work with. And then of course, move around the scene. Now moving around the scene would mean I've, like I've zoomed in and then I need to you know pan over to a certain area. Now let's fit that back to screen. You can also change the size of the eraser. So the eraser can get bigger or smaller. And then you can either erase or undo what you've done. So the way that I like to work with this interface is I've got uh, two different types of erase jobs I need to do. I have a few dust spots, right? I've got one here, here, and here. And then I have this cone that's down here I'd like to get rid of. So I'm gonna start with just this little tool here, make my size of my brush a little bigger. I'm gonna tap or click click and then one more there. Now I've set those points. If for any reason I made a mistake and I drew one out here I didn't mean to, I can use the erase and say I don't want to touch that area. So I have those points, I can say great, I want to do the erase job on just those points that I've set. So this will take care of those few dust spots. I still have the erase tool open and I can still continue working, but this lets me work uh, step by step. So I don't have to try to figure out all the things I want to erase at once. All right, those look good. Now I can move on to the cone. So I'll grab the eraser again. I'll come down here. And actually for this one, let's go ahead and zoom in. Pretty healthy. If you hold your space bar down, you can also move around so you don't have to go change tools. Now I can see that cone much better and only touch the area that I want to touch. I'll click erase again and see if I'm happy with that. Very nice. So. Work in stages with the eraser. That way, if you get an erase job that's not quite what you want, you can just undo that particular one with you know, Command Z, your, your normal keystrokes, and then try again. Once you've got everything all set the way you want, we click Apply, and it will commit those erases, save them into a you know, non-destructive format, and we're all done. All right, and we are back. We'll close down our presets. And I'll hold down the backslash key so you can see before and after. So before, kind of dull, lacking some color. We see some dust spots up across the left edge of the sky. And we got that cone down there. After, much brighter, much warmer, more inviting scene. So using presets in Luminar, great way to get started with an image. And often that's all that you need. And you can use the erase tools to do that fine little bits of touch up that you might need to uh, address dust spots or any other distracting objects in your scene.